Alright, we finally get to come check this chest from part one. And that is so disappointing. Hello friends, we're back at some modded Terraria here. Just gonna hop into it and go down our hole. I don't know what to call it, straight down hole. I guess it's called a elevator normally. Found this little fancy gilded slime. I don't know if he's a rare enemy or not, but he looks pretty cool. Has his own little crown. Kinda wish I got that as a drop. Instead of just gold ore. But I do believe he drops a vanquisher medal. So that's good. Alright, found another little chest. And I suppose transformations are an option. I didn't know that. I have I'm, I've never done that so far. Somewhat at a loss for words there. Looks like it goes in the rideable slot. So maybe I just try to ride? Like, hmm, we'll see. Although, being a mag, it doesn't seem too useful, because it did specify I wasn't able to use items. Also, directly under the house, I found this area. I believe it's a boss fight arena, but I need to wait for another blood moon in order to collect some more blood shards, in order to activate the altar in the middle. Another gilded slime. Maybe they're not so rare. But he did drop another vanquisher medal. Alright. I finally made the hole all the way from the surface to the underworld. Got a little bit of water following me, so that should build a natural arena to block the lava when I don't have my lava waders on. And we'll probably collect some ore now. I'll see you back soon. Alright, got a furnace as well as a little bit of ore and some obsidian. Craft a couple bars. And I'm going to talk to the guide to see what I can make with this. Hopefully there's a weapon or at least some armor. We'll find out. It seemed like the only good thing was armor. I will need a pickaxe eventually. But I'm not in any rush to get that. It won't take but five minutes to get more ore. Since I have the lava waders now. Let's see, where are we headed to now? Alright, I suppose now we will do the Skeletron fight. Since I've got the upgraded Molten Armor, I don't anticipate him to kill me. If I do, I will be a little disappointed in myself, to be honest. Alright, as expected, Skeletron was pretty easy. I didn't even have to destroy both his hands like normal. And we get what appears to be a yo-yo. As well as lots of changes in the world. In the granite and marble biome. Oop, I didn't even see all of them. Might have to go... I'll have to look back and check that. I was too focused on these items he dropped. I believe the Emerald Grappling Hook had a one or two block longer reach there. Alright, so we're getting to go down into the dungeon now, and would you look at this. It goes straight into corruption, and I don't see the dungeon anywhere to be found. It's a bit disappointing. It's quite a ways down here, wow. Alright, I came back from the dungeon. I stayed there for probably half an hour or so because I just kept getting more and more drops that were interesting. Uh, except I could not get enough of the little spirit droplets. I was going to craft some more armor, but they seem notably rarer than the other drops. And just doing some maintenance, throwing some stuff away... See you back soon. Alright, so I did find the shadow key. And I can open some shadow chests now. Oh, that is that is amazing. This is probably my favorite pre-hard mode weapon. Especially in vanilla Terraria. 
With this bow, I probably could defeat the Wall of Flesh right now if I needed to. But once again, I'm not in any rush. I I want to experience the full the full as ah. I want to experience the mods in all their glory. I guess is how you would say it. Right. Gonna see what the traveling merchant has to offer here. Uh, life form analyzer, which I. I love that because it tells you when rare enemies are near you, as well as the sitting duck fishing pole. Though it is a bit expensive at 35 coins. I'm gonna see if I can scrounge up enough to get both. Because it'd be quite handy. Sell some garbage real quick. Alright, I was able to find just barely enough to afford the fishing pole. And this will allow us to start fishing now, I guess. And along with the lava fishing line, maybe I can see if there's anything new in the lava from the mods. Alright, we finally get to come check this chest from part 1. And that is so disappointing. I cannot believe I had been anticipating this for so long. That is heartbreaking, to say the least. Alright, so I think I want to try to craft the special bow. It takes four separate pre-hard mode bows. I believe that's going to be one of the next goals I start working towards. I have two of the four. So I will have to locate two more. Alright, just gonna do a little bit of tinkering. It's so cheap, and I use this staff so much. Let's see, and superior. That is acceptable. Alright, friends. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.